Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the ongoing adventures of Nazim the Sword Singer. When we last left our adventurer, he had just spent a few hours getting some much needed rest here at this uh, rather oddly named inn, the Rat and Helm. By the way, you may notice in this game there are different modes you can go into. You have Steel Mode, Grab Mode, Info Mode, and Dialogue Mode. A somewhat unfortunate design choice, I suppose. Anyway, our character has been tasked primarily with this quest. I am on a mission from the Emperor to investigate the shade of King Lysandus. His spirit has been haunting the city of Daggerfall. The Emperor himself has charged me with the duty of laying his ghost to rest. There is also the minor matter of a letter he sent to the Queen of Daggerfall. If I should find out what happened to the letter, he would be most appreciative. Before landing in Daggerfall, a sudden storm capsized the ship. I barely made it into the cave. Alright, and we escaped that cave during our last gaming session. It was down in that valley. We marched our way up here, got a few hours rest, and now, as the sun rises and the music changes, we are prepared to continue our journey. We had made it to the overall region of Daggerfall. Uh, I suppose this is referred to as the Kingdom of Daggerfall. Now within that kingdom, there is also a city of Daggerfall. That's where we'll be heading now. We're currently up here at Gothway Garden. When you want to find a location, you click on Find. You can start typing as much as you want, hit Enter. And in Daggerfall Unity, you get this nice, very useful uh, list of places that might be a good match. Um, original Daggerfall wasn't quite so convenient. But anyway, we want to go ahead and travel, like I said, to the city of Daggerfall. So, it's all the way down there. We would have gotten much closer if it weren't for a sudden storm that kind of, I guess, maybe diverted us off track. And uh, we ended up in uh, this little inlet here. Anyway, do you wish to travel to Daggerfall? Yes. Cautiously or recklessly, that makes a difference in terms of trip cost and travel time. If you want to stay at inns or just camp out. If you just camp out, it doesn't cost anything at all. Um, there can be other costs associated with that. You might not be as well rested. Um, transport. By foot, horse, or ship. In this case, this doesn't make a difference. In, in some cases, that will make a huge difference. Um, so anyway, now that we did get a little bit of quality sleep in a nice inn, I think our, our character's ready to rough it a little bit. So we'll just camp out and travel recklessly. That means we might show up at night. Oh, as it turns out, we have shown up at 8.51 in the morning on Turtis 10th of Morning Stock. We are still healthy and in good legal standing. As you can see, by the walls of this city. It's quite a large place. We have townspeople milling about. Let's go ahead, head on in. Check out the sign here first. Daggerfall. Due to the famine in Daggerfall, all merchants importing food must report to the gate captain. Okay. Same message there. Let's check our map. Most of these buildings are just residences. There are some special buildings in different colors. Uh, I believe orange are all shops. Green are inns. Blue could be guilds. This might be mages guild and fighters guild here. This should be a palace. And that's about it. There might be other uh, temples in addition to guilds that are blue. Um, this one might actually be the mages guild. I'm not sure. Anyway. For now, let's go ahead and head over to the palace, see if we can get some more information about the strange haunting of this city by the ghost of King Lysandus. As you may recall from last time, our character has a custom class, Sword Singer. And in terms of some of his family lineage, he is a member of the Ashaba tribe. 
which has special training in handling of undead. So that makes him especially well suited to investigating a case like this. However, he is still a little bit lacking in, uh, you know, significant real-world experience dealing with undead on his own. Uh, he mostly had uh, undergone training with assistance of others in the past. And anyway, he does have a lot more he needs to learn, a lot of experience he needs to gain uh, before he can be uh, extremely adept as a follower of the Ashaba traditions as well as the Yukutan traditions of the sword singers. Let's head on in. Our character does have a slight amount of reputation, having saved the lives of some of the Imperial family, but still isn't exactly uh, super well-known and uh, may not be universally liked, uh, in part because uh, in this region in particular he's a, an outsider, but again also not super well-known, he may not be fully trusted. All are free to petition His Highness at this time. Do not stray from the audience chamber, lest ye have royal blessing to do so. Always speak politely to the king and queen, and above all, cast no spells while within these walls. Do ye agree with these terms? Yes. So the way is opened, and here we are, within the palace. We have a jester over there, various guards, various members of the noble class. We're going to go straight to the royalty, however. And Nazim sees a fellow red guard. I believe her name is Queen Abuk E, something like that. It's really too bad, Nazim. I have a special assignment that requires someone I trust, such as yourself. However, it also needs someone of greater skill in order to survive. Come back and visit me when you have improved your skills some more. Okay, fair enough. If we change to info mode, we'll see, yes, Queen Abki. <laughs> However you're supposed to say her name, I have no idea. And here we have King Gothrid. I need someone to bring an item to a contact of mine in the Kingford Plantation. You will receive an item in return. If I bring that item back to me, I will be happy to reward you with 328 gold pieces. Do you agree? Well since they don't seem willing to talk with me yet about much of anything else, such as what they might know about the fate of King Lysandus and why his ghost might be haunting this area. Uh, for now, I'll just try to increase my level of trust with them by accepting this quest. Very good. Take this bar of gold and bring it to a certain well-to-do merchant called Mordane Buckingham in a place called the Kingsley Residence in the Kingford Plantation. You will need to move quickly, if you are not at the Kingsley residence in nine days, more Dane Bucking will leave, and none of us will be happy, especially you. Very well. Good luck to you, Nazim. All right, thank you. I was about to ask him, do you get to the Daggerfall Palace often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you do. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and... Before we embark on that quest, which we have marked in our logbook right here, we're supposed to contact Mordane Buckingham of the Kingford Plantation to deliver a bar of gold in the Kingsley Residence. Okay. So yeah, before we deal with that... Uh, hello. What is this all about? Why are you attacking me? This is bizarre. Oh my, I better do a quick save. This was not expected. That gold bar must be quite heavy. How about I, how about I relieve you of it? Just hand it over and I'll let you go. No! 
Let's cast a shock spell. Okay, I'm not sure if that hit. Things are not going well. Very low HP now. Oh, we got them. A spell sword, eh? Not too dissimilar from a sword singer. Can't carry any more stuff. Let's get some info about this sword. Steel Claymore, 2 to 18 points of damage. Wow. I prefer that sword since I can also wield a shield while holding it. In any case, now that we are wounded, we better find an inn. We'll go this way. Hopefully, avoiding any further. Oh, attention! No such luck. Can we fast travel? Not with enemies nearby. Let's just run. Okay, I'm getting more than I bargained for by accepting that quest. Did not realize... There would be agents of other forces pursuing me like this. I'll check my map again. Whew. Locked doors. This is not good. Not good at all. Well, at least this is making for a, an exciting gaming session, I suppose you could say. We'll save again. Oh my. We have two people in pursuit. One seems to be a formidable spellcaster. At least they're not terribly fast. Now, I'm not super experienced with this game, frankly. Uh, I did play it a fair amount back in the day, the original Daggerfall. Uh, but it's been quite some time, and even back then I never did do a full playthrough. So there are many details I don't know. For example, if I go in here, will I be able to rest? I am not 100% sure. But maybe. I might be safe. Can I get a room? One day. Five gold pieces. Very well. Rest until fully healed. Enemies do dang it. Got to be kidding me. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong key. Can I get no rest? Not good. <laughs> uh. My first death of this session. Loading. Here we go. Okay, so we're not going to bother with trying to stay at an inn. Doors are locked, presumably. Now, as I keep running like this, am I going to attract even more enemies? That certainly seems possible. I might truly regret accepting that quest. 
we'll see. Still have enemies nearby. Fortunately, running doesn't seem to drain my stamina too quickly. I wonder if I'll be able to run far enough so that I can fast travel. Out of the city. And just out of curiosity, let's see where these locations are. Okay, so. Kingford Plantation, Kingsley Residence. I'm. Hmm. Slightly confused as to which of these I should search for. We'll just search for both and uh, see what comes up. Ah, good, I can fast travel. King. So we have Kingsley Manor. And the King for Plantation. Hold on. Hold on. Kingford Plantation, Kingsley Residence. things first, we'll go to King for Plantation. Not too far. This time we will stay at inns, get some quality rest, and go cautiously. Let's begin. And immediately save. Okay. Nice little farm here. So far, no one hostile, it seems. And I've recovered my health. Let's check our inventory. So here is that bar of gold. If we check our map, we just have the one building. Info mode. The Kingsley residence. Okay, so yeah, it's just a building here within this uh, in this location. <laughs> hey, doggo. A jolly voice says, "Welcome to my home." And who do we have here? Gunolda Greenham. We want to find Mordane Buckingham. Hopefully, we won't face any combat here, but we'll see. Look at these glorious transparent windows. This is thanks to a mod. Oh my, we do have an enemy. He should be no match for us up close and personal like this. Not for a sword singer like me. Yeah, that's right. You see a dead person, indeed. Gold pieces. Yeah. Good enough. We need to sell some things soon. Oop. Nope, nope, nope. Not going to go look through private property. Dane Buckingham and Mordred Gersten. Hello there. Ah, you must be the courier. Excellent, excellent. Now take this helm back to King Gothrid immediately, and he will reward you as promised. A pleasure doing business with you, Nazim. Beautiful. So, let's go ahead and save again.
and we'll be on our way. Enemies nearby. I should have known. Where? Think you are a quality spell sword, eh? I've got you matched. Gotcha. Can't carry any more stuff. Come on. Iron Die Katana. Two to twenty points of damage. Let's see here. Let's remove a few things. Hmm. Back to Daggerfall. Oh, cautiously, I suppose. Stealth and long blade have increased. back to the palace, hopefully avoiding combat. Take a glance at my inventory. Ah, there it is. Huh. An enchanted steel helm, plus nine to armor rating. Item powers unknown? Interesting. Well, we will not be investigating too closely or asking too many questions. We'll just go ahead and deliver that helm back to its presumably rightful owner. And see what else King Gothrin might tell us. I really do love these enhanced graphics, enhanced music, and enhanced sound from the Dream mod. Now, sometimes the enhanced graphics uh, on certain characters when you get up close, whether it's uh, NPCs such as this person, <laughs> or uh, some of the enemies, uh, some of them you might think, you know, that doesn't really look that great to me. Fair enough, you know, not all of them are absolutely beautiful, but uh, it's still a nice upscaling, it's a nice improvement. Um, you know, I, I don't get too fussy about the details, whether it's the pixelated original or or this nice enhanced stuff. I, I think both are great in their own way. And I don't expect any of them to be perfect. Do you agree with the terms? Yes. So in we go. Still a little bit paranoid about being followed by assassins. King Gothbrand. Yes? Um... Okay, here we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, why am I getting... Why am I not getting this, uh, this type of a text prompt? Okay. Excellent, Nazim. You've returned with my helm as promised. Your valor and bravery are great indeed. I am sure we will appreciate your further service in the near future. Thank you. Alright. So we get some gold. Very nice. Save again. And try to chat some more. My cousin, Mordain Harsley, has appealed me for aid in a rather distasteful situation. It appears that there is a temple of some variety being consecrated, if that's the proper phrase for these disgusting orcish activities. Well, obviously, we need to crush it while it's budding. I'm willing to go as high as 316 gold. Can I count on your help, Nazim? In this case, Nazim does not have a good feeling about this, and he declines. What are you, some kind of orc friend? Buy my lady, get out of my sight. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit disappointed in King Gothrin, to say the least. Now how about you, 
queen up key. Oh, hello? Oh, I think she is not speaking with us at all. Not until our skills have improved significantly. Hmm. In the meantime, who are some of these other folks? Lord Bridwell. Mobar. <laughs> okay. I could chat with, you know, any of these people. Some of them might have additional side quests and whatnot. But for now, I'm not going to get uh, into any of that. Uthaval Yomhart. Bedewir Gearcroft. I don't know if you could hear that faint sound, almost like the moaning of a monster. Sometimes when you interact with certain NPCs, for some reason it does create those sound effects. It's a little bit bizarre. And I'm assuming a bug. Uh, a bug that has been preserved in this case from original Daggerfall to Daggerfall Unity. Lord Provlith. Barbana Mooring. Now like I was saying about the Dream Mod and the improvements to the graphics, I do think it, it really is very, very good improvement overall. You know, these images here, if, if it were the original version, getting in close we would just see a, an extremely pixelated face that would not be clear at all. You know, I do think this is much better. Now of course it might still seem amusing that they are like two-dimensional paper dolls basically, rotating around as you move around them, uh, but hey, it's not so bad. And we have others who are more like a 3D figure. Um, or at least giving more of the illusion of a 3D figure, such as this guard. Theodore Ashhouse. And the guards, they're just labeled as knights, or possibly other classes sometimes. Lusaster Copperham. Lady Bridwell. A battle mage, oh my. Oh, hello. Gwenoria Kingham. Bedouir Gearcroft. Anyway. Okay. Sorry, I'll stop getting distracted. So, we haven't really gotten any useful information from the royalty here. We could have attempted to speak with some of the nobility. I don't recall whether any of them offers anything useful. I don't think so, to be honest. Oh, hello, Nazim. Hello, Radawir Hakart. Can you tell me about any recent news? What has been happening? I hear the King Gothard finally got some helm he needed. Indeed. I may have had a hand in that. Now, should I ask about something? I'll ask about the Order of RK, for my character worships RK. Sorry, friend, I can't help you there. Alright. Well, my character is interested in looking into the local chapters of Mage's Guild and Fighter's Guild and so forth, but I might leave that for a future play session. For today, I'm going to keep this kind of short. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any thoughts you want to share about this game or uh, my character or uh, any advice for how I should proceed and uh, please also consider supporting me at patreon.com slash the drake where you can also gain access to my upcoming games through golden drake studios it's a studio I created for uh, some game projects that I've been slowly but surely working on and um, other than that I just hope you have a wonderful day take good care of yourself we will see you next time